Hello dear students, I am Dr. Moinuddin. In this video we are going to learn about fluorescence and phosphorescence. So let's see about it. Did you have ever observed that the tonic water when irradiated by UV light appear as, as blue in color? Or did you have ever noticed that the coolant or antifreeze in our automobiles when we observe them in sunlight appear us to as green in color? Or did you have noticed that some objects or toys glow in the dark or in the night even when there is no light? So why is this, this all happening? So to know the reason behind this phenomena, you need to watch this video till the end. Actually fluorescence and phosphorescence is behind this phenomena. So to understand fluorescence and phosphorescence, let's have some terminology which we must have to understand first. So singlet state, it refers to the system in which the electrons have opposite spin. For example, there are two electrons and they are in opposite spins with each other. So we can refer it to the singlet state and their overall spin quantum number is zero. Let's see in the figure. This is the pair of electron and they have opposite spin. So we can say they are in singlet state and because they are in ground state so this can be referred as ground singlet state or singlet ground state and let these are irradiated by some radiation and one of them get excited to higher level and even in this higher level the spin of this electron is opposite to that of the electron from uh, in the ground state so we can refer it that these are in singlet state and this can be referred as, as singlet excited state now what is triplet state it refers to a system in which the electrons have the same spin so if if electrons have the same spin so this state is called triplet state and their quantum number is not zero rather it's one for example we can see in the figure here are the two electrons one in the ground state and one in the excited state but their spins are same so we can refer these as excited triplet state so let's see what is fluorescence luminescence is the phenomena of emission of light from any substance and occurs from electronically excited states so what does it mean when a substance is irradiated by electromagnetic radiation there may happen some electronic transition that is one of its valence electron may get excited to the higher energy level and when it return back to the ground state it emit lights and there happens the phenomena of luminescence now there could be the different excited states and even the nature of excited states so depending on the nature of excited state luminescence is divided into two categories fluorescence and phosphorescence let's see how fluorescence occurs so light falls on some substance and let's see one of its electron is excited to the higher energy state and in higher state let the electron remains in singlet state means its spin remains opposite to that of electron present in the ground state so when this electron returns to the ground state definitely it will emit light and there will happen the phenomena of fluorescence so this can be seen by the figure by the image next shown in the next slide So electrons are present here in the ground state. When these are irradiated by some electromagnetic radiations, 
so maybe one of electron get excited may reach in the higher energy state so there might be some relaxations here here and then it comes here okay but electron is present in the singlet state means its spin is opposite to that of electron present in the ground state so it returns back from here to the ground state by emission of radiation and that is called fluorescence so the lifetime of fluorescence is about 10 nanosecond very short lifetime and what is lifetime so lifetime of a fluorophore is an average time between its excitation and return to the ground state and what is fluorophore any substance exhibiting the phenomena of fluorescence is called fluorophore because the lifetime or time scale is very short in case of fluorescence so definitely the measurement of emission requires sophisticated optics and electronics in this slides chemical structures of different compounds have been shown together with the solutions of these chemical compounds so when the solution of these compounds are irradiated by sunlight so they appear in different colors and when we observe their chemical structures so we can conclude one thing that fluorescence typically occurs from aromatic molecules so you can see benzene is common in all these chemical compounds one widely encountered fluorophore is quinine so quinine is an anti-malarial drug and it is present in tonic water which is given to the mal malarial patients and if we expose this tonic water to the sunlight a faint blow a faint blue glow get visible at the surface actually quinine in tonic water is excited by uv light from sun and when it returns to the ground state it emits blue light with wavelength around 450 nanometer the first ever observation of fluorescence was reported by sir john frederick william and that was from quinine so it means quinine was the first fluor fluorophore and quinine, is, quinine was responsible for the development of first spectral fluorometer that appeared in the market in 1950s since then a large number of fluorophores are being encountered in our daily life some more examples are the green or red orange the green or red orange glow sometimes seen in antifreeze is due to trace quantity of fluorescein or rhodamine as i mentioned earlier that mostly aromatic compounds exhibit the phenomena of fluorescence so here are some more examples polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons like anthracene and pyrrhylene are also fluorescent and the emission from such species is used for environmental monitoring of oil pollution so by using fluorescence phenomena we can also monitor the pollution in an environment then pyridine one and rhodamine are frequently used in dye lasers as a dyeing medium so if we talk about the fluorescent spectra so generally it is presented as emission spectra which is the plot of fluorescence intensity versus wavelength or wave number means fluorescence intensity it's on y-axis and on x-axis there is wavelength or wave number so what's the significance of fluorescent spectroscopy 
During past few decades, the use of fluorescent spectroscopy has been remarkably increased in the field of biological sciences. It has been considered to be the basic research tool in the field of biochemistry and biophysics. But these days, the fluorescence is a dominant methodology used in different fields like biotechnology, flow cytometry, medicinal diagnostics, DNA sequencing, forensics, genetic analysis, etc. It has also found its application in cellular and molecular imaging. Now, what is phosphorescence? It is the emission of light from triplet excited state in which electron has same spin orientation in excited state as that of ground state. Means, the substance is irradiated by radiation and one of electron get excited. But it is present in triplet excited state. Means, the excited electrons have same spin as that of electron present in ground state. So when it returns to the ground state, definitely it will emit radiation and there will be the phenomena of phosphorescence. Normally, the transitions are forbidden transitions and the uh, emissions are quite slow. Lifetimes are quite larger as compared to the fluorescence and these range from milliseconds to seconds. And these longer lifetimes these can be observed in glow-in-the-dark toys which are shown in the earlier slides. Following exposure to the light, phosphorescent substance glow for several minutes. So they can glow for a longer period of time. And why this happened? Because excited fluorophores or substances return to the ground state quite slowly. So that is why this can be observed for the longer period of time. And generally, it is not observed in fluids. So this is all about the basics of fluorescence and phosphorescence. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, then like it. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then subscribe it to get in touch with my upcoming interesting videos. Thank you very much.